Good evening. Thunderstorms swept off the ranges into the eastern suburbs and also the uh, northern suburbs late this afternoon, dumping some very heavy rain. In the city, well, the top temperature is 26.3, after a low of 14.7. Right now it's 23 degrees and it's raining in town. And across the state, well, those storms affected uh, eastern and central parts and also we had a few storms pop up about the Otway Ranges late this afternoon. As we take a look at the cloud sequence, well, it's this trough which uh, affected New South Wales, bringing that uh, heavy rain to that part of the world, actually dipped into our corner of the world, sparking those uh, thundery showers. And uh, the storms, in fact, are expected to collapse overnight. And that means we'll have areas of rain gradually making its way across Victoria tonight. Now, the stormy weather will return tomorrow as this low pressure trough deepens once again. And it uh, looks like this time, uh, thunderstorms and uh, rain will affect a good part of Victoria, especially in the afternoon and the evening. And some further big falls are likely about the ranges. Around the nation tomorrow, well, it looks like another wet day in Sydney and 23 degrees. Hobart should be fine and sunny up around 20. Chance of a storm for Adelaide, a top temperature there of uh, 30 degrees. Looks like Perth will be humid and quite warm, 26 tomorrow. Well, for Victoria, another humid day, of course, with those showers and storms redeveloping in the afternoon, as I said earlier, affecting most of the state. As far as temperatures go, almost a carbon copy of today's conditions. And once again, the pollen count was extreme and is expected to remain extreme over the next 24 hours. For the bays, we'll have northeasterly winds of around 15 to 20 knots. They will swing around to the southeast very late in the day, maintaining a choppy to rather rough seas. As for Melbourne, Further showers and local thunderstorms, especially in the northern and eastern suburbs tonight. Fine at first tomorrow, then further showers and storms returning during the afternoon. Quite a warm day and humid too, up around 27. And as we look further ahead now, Friday, a few clearing showers, 24 degrees. The weekend still looking good, fine and sunny, mid to high 20s. Likewise on Monday and uh, Tuesday around 29. Wednesday, fine, climbing up towards 30 degrees. Well, that's the latest weather. Take care of on the roads tonight. They'll be very slippery. Mitch. Thanks very much, David. Finally tonight, the Sunshine Coast star, who's old enough to claim she was a mate of naturalist Charles Darwin way back in the 1800s. She's Harriet the Tortoise, who today turned an amazing 170 years of age. Harriet was reportedly captured by Darwin in 1835, and for the first hundred years of her life was known as Harry, before vets realised he was a she. <laughs> School children helped Harriet celebrate. They enjoyed the cake. She chomped on hibiscus flowers. And she's set for quite a few more birthdays. Vets expecting her to kick on beyond 200. And that's the way it is this Wednesday, the 15th of November. Thanks for your company. We'll have news updates throughout the evening. Please stay with us now for Today Tonight.